Good morning, everyone. We are, <laughs> we are here <laughs> in our little home, new hometown in Italy. Uh, at least it will be in a couple of months. So uh, a lot of people have said that in our videos, it always looks like the town is kind of dead. So we're actually on the piazza today and you can see what it looks like. So our town is a little different. Um, uh, there are other towns like this, but the main hill town is not where the piazza is. The piazza is actually at the base of the hill and it's newer. It's not like all ancient buildings. So Sandra will turn the camera around and you can see. Uh, so, so you can see that there is there are people, there is activity. We typically don't like to film people anyway because yeah, it's... not every stranger <clears throat> on camera. <laughs> uh, but there are three uh, cafes just right over this direction from me. Uh, the city hall is over there and the post office. And, and there are a number of people out and about today. <clears throat> so... Uh, this afternoon, it will be dead <laughs> because the world shuts down. And it's uh, very hot, so everyone yeah. goes home to nap and yeah. stay cool. <laughs> Today is definitely the best day we've had so far Yeah. Uh, as far as weather. The last two days were pretty unbearable. Think Houston in July, and that's about what it was. Still humid and scorching, <clears throat> but today is, is very pleasant. So... Anyway, we will take you on a tour of the house today, and we'll also talk a little bit about what we do with our time here, and, and you'll see there's not a lot of progress on the house. That we you can, can see. That you can see, yeah. but progress is happening. I guess okay. we can go ahead and talk about that. Okay. You wanna? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so <laughs> the, the work that's been done so far um, is very labor intensive, so the plaster on the walls what we can show you is probably about that thick um, and so in order to expose the ceilings and then in our bathroom all the walls it takes a long time and then they have to go back and sandblast it um, to clean up all the parts that they can't get off and so it's just very labor intensive um, and the floors removing the tiles from the the stone and just lots of labor intensive so that's what that's what's happening now um the plumbing is starting and so yeah we've picked out tiles and it's moving it's just this part is slower than i think what'll happen when when everything is ready to go so yeah um we will walk you through and let you see what it looks like now and um, yeah and our contractor so a lot of people have asked about him and how that works and everything so he is extremely reliable. Fabio is his name. He is a wonderful person. Everyone in this town knows <laughs> him. Uh, every And everybody oh. at all the shops around where yeah. you buy stuff knows <laughs> yeah, him Yeah, if too. you go to a tile store, he's got a contact. He's got, yeah. He went with us last night to the tile store uh, for an hour and a half. It, but it, it is slower here because um, it's still kind of got that... that handcrafted artisan yes. kind of attitude about the way things work he he doesn't necessarily want to have a bunch of employees he doesn't trust the way they do the work always so he'll hire people to do like the cleanup the sandblasting the the things that are just that he can just give them a job and yeah and they can't mess it up but if it's any kind of detail work he's wanting to do it himself he wants to do it himself yeah. he's proud of it uh, and he's got like a zillion houses in this town that he is working <laughs> on. And so it just, it, it takes time. Uh, it's, but it's going to be awesome. So. <laughs> he'll do quality work, but it's, it's not going to be quick. Um, as far as what we spend our time doing, yes, we get to go sit at a cafe occasionally, but <laughs> seriously, every time we come here, we never stop running. No. <laughs> uh, this time it was the this time it was the bank so we've had to um in order for us to get our permanent residency we have to have a bank account 
And so uh, the woman at the bank is wonderful. She's been great, um, but it's just a process. So um, everything in Italy yeah. is a process. Yeah. It's, <laughs> they're famous for their bureaucracy, and it's true. We and as non-residents, we it's it's a different process. Yeah. So um, so hopefully we will get that bank account because we have to have it to become residents <laughs> of Italy. Um, we go to a lot of tile stores to, to home store, uh, home stores yeah. to uh, any kind of store, antique stores, looking at lighting. Uh, yesterday we drove an hour and a half to a town to get some handmade lighting. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we're driving an hour and a half to a different town that does that specializes in ironwork. And so we'll yeah. Yesterday's was they specialize in uh, ceramics. ceramics. So all the pretty plates and with all the colorful Majolica. Majolica. So that's uh, some of our light fixtures will be that. So yeah, we're so excited you just have to, to use the local. We're really excited to like use the local artisans and craft people um, and put their uh, put their work in our home. So yeah, yeah we're. And so it's it's just uh, we drive a lot. <laughs> we walk a lot. We yeah. we really go home very tired. Um, we but have, in a good way. Yeah, in a good way. So, uh, anyway, that is an update of that part, and we will take you on a tour of the house now. Okay, this will be quick. This will be quick, everyone. Uh, we're at the house. There's just not a lot that's changed, and so we're going to walk you through quickly, <clears throat> and. Um, We'll sh I'll show you this at least. This will be our terracotta floors in a lot of the house. So this is ancient terracotta. This is probably 500 years old. It looks yellow. Some of them look red. Some look orange. It'll. I mean, that's just how it is. It's whatever color of sand they had. So, um, but that will be the floors all downstairs and in one room upstairs. This is our uh, utility room. Nothing has changed here. Sandra's hiding, there she is. <laughs> Hi Sandra. So we'll go up here. This hallway will have some of the Majolica lighting in it and this room will, but you can see right now, I mean, nothing has changed. Yeah. So we're going to go fast through here. Plus, it's really hot in here because uh, all the windows aren't open. Once again, here is this room. Here is our living room. Here is our bedroom. Uh, this, again, this is a floor. We, we picked out a really pretty tile for in here. This is the only room where the ancient tile had been replaced for whatever reason. Uh, but everyone thinks the house looks huge and a lot of it, uh, so the kitchen has the tallest ceilings, they're over 12 feet tall. Uh, so the room, this room is really only like 12 by 12, yeah. something like that, 12 by 13. Uh, you know, none of the walls are straight, so it's kind of hard to no, now this has been finished since the last time. This is our bathroom and the walls will stay bare. Uh, so they've gotten the plaster off, then they have to sandblast. And uh, and wood. yeah, it's got, the doorways all have this, you know, 500 year old wood. That's awesome, they'll make that look good. Uh, we can show them the room upstairs too, so I'm gonna, Pause for a minute while we walk back through and go to, well, we're almost there. I won't pause. Oh, uh, so when they say sandblast, they mean sandblast. This is like a gravel sand. You can see there's bags and bags and bags. There are more bags downstairs. Uh, I think downstairs. Yeah, he's, he's downstairs working. So we were just talking to him. <laughs> and I think it's going to be months after we get here before we can move in. So uh, it's it's going to be slow. But 
that's to be expected. That's our bird's new cage, ready for him when he gets here. This cabinet that's built in is 100% stuffed full of stuff that we've brought that we know our shipping is not gonna get here for months. And we didn't wanna have to buy just like everything and the shippers can't bring food and chemicals. So we've brought like toiletries, we've brought food, we've our brought, <laughs> yeah, that's all of our spices. Yeah, everyone says that you should bring your own Ziploc baggies because they're not as good here. Uh, we brought our winter clothes. So anything we may need has been brought. Okay, so this room, this room had the drop ceiling and they have removed the drop ceiling. So this is what the ceiling will look like in here. Uh, they will sandblast it. You'll be able to see the terracotta and the pretty wooden beams. And then the floor will have And the floor will have the old terracotta as well. So it's not a huge room. It's probably only 10 feet wide, yeah. maybe. It is long, but it, it will be a very pretty room, uh, we think. Okay, so now we'll take you downstairs. Okay, so you can hear all the work, so I'm not gonna be talking. Uh, we're going into this. This will be a guest room. I think will be the nicest guest suite. If we can put an air conditioner in it. everyone so we hope you enjoyed the um, the tour uh, excuse my voice in it I've had sinus problems today so I was clearing my throat constantly and uh, so that's the problem what you saw Fabio doing in the bathroom he had to remove 100% of the plaster from the walls uh, in order to fix the plumbing some the plumbing plumbing is old old and it wasn't done properly uh so it's got to be redone uh there will be plaster put back on the walls after he does the wiring and the plumbing and all of that but uh right now it just it <clears throat> it's a mess in there because of the amount of work he has to do yeah and he uses a jackhammer so it's like, it's it takes a long time to uh, separate that stuff from the from the bricks so he's doing a great job but it just takes a long time so um all right well we will hopefully update you in august when we get here for real um and until then arrivederci arrivederci <laughs>